Okay. All right, so first we're gonna taste 1995 Col Solari. 95, uh, obviously it's very unique because it's the first vintage of Col Solari um, uh, produced. Um, for myself, I actually got a chance to work with this wine, but from in the cellar. Uh, I remember when these grapes came in, they were some of the last grapes to come in from the Horse Heaven Vineyard. Very small, dark, intense fruit. Uh, 95 as a vintage was a cooler year. Um, and the grapes in general were much more elegant um, in style. It wasn't a big tannic year, it wasn't a big year of heat. In fact, it was the first of three kind of cool vintages uh, in the Columbia Valley. Um, the blend on it is 72% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 26% uh, Merlot, and then 2% Syrah. And remember with Syrah, it's kind of a unique grape. It's in and out of whole Solari blends uh, as we go through the tasting, and it's used for texture. Cabernet Sauvignon, of course, is the base, Merlot for complexity, and the Syrah be used for, for texture. Um, this wine was aged in uh, about 70% new oak uh, for 21 months. And let's give it a try. This nice brick color. You know, the aromas of this are kind of like a, a, a dried floral. You know, it smells of, a, of an aged wine. Not necessarily in a, in a negative way. And it still tastes uh, pretty fresh. Has a bit of a minty character, a little bit of a kind of an earthy spice um, on the finish. Um, it's a wine that still has some freshness left to it. Um, you know, I certainly think it's gone through its, uh, its, its aging cycle. It's, uh, it's, you know, 16 years old. It's done a great job. Um, still has some complexity, some richness. I think it's definitely, if someone has this in their cellar though, you've done your patience and you should take it out and, and enjoy it.